Pecha Kucha 207 Post PC Blues. So I got my new PC last week, and now I've been um, sort of dealing with the the fallout of of what it means to have kind of lost the old one. It's not been pleasant. So did I get the Cintiq to work? Yes, I did. Uh, I remembered most of the problems I had the first time, so ultimately it was quite straightforward getting the Cintiq to work with Manga Studio. It was quite easy getting the drivers installed um, and configuring it so you know it mostly worked. The one problem I had is the shortcut problem I had with Photoshop last year. Basically my workflow is quite aggressively disrupted and I'm going to blame it on Windows Pen and Ink because that's what my evidence led me to last year but now it's followed me into Clip Studio Paint so I can't use the shortcuts. The one shortcut I really need can't use. Uh, an unexpected result of um, putting in the Cintiq is I now have to choose between having two monitors or having audio uh, and I've decided uh, this computer's sole purpose is the Cintiq. The Cintiq works, Clip Studio Paint works, unfortunately I'm going to have to work in silence almost. I have workarounds but what does this ultimately mean? This shit's awful. It made me go play my PlayStation this week. My PlayStation was sat in the corner of my room almost dead to the world for like maybe two fucking years. Um, I played a lot of Fallout 4 this this week and I didn't really even enjoy it. But on Monday um, I did find myself at my drawing table again adding to my um, massive A2 plus sized page of stuff um, with my mechanical pencil. I didn't even have a plan. It was just like sit down, do some scribbles try and just stay off the computer, you know, the, the PlayStation. Uh, what did I draw without thinking? Scorpion the Turtles, one of the seven demons from my seven demon thing in Chun-Li, right? So this this is the <laughs> this is what my hand does when my brain is 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 not involved and there's something reassuring about that. This is everything I cherish in life, isn't it? Um, I also had some scribble of a Ryu picture I did, to God knows when, um, on the left with the biro, and I thought, well, let's see if I can use that to prompt me to draw Ryu a bit more accurately. Uh, so I did. Didn't know really how to make a didn't really know how to do his hair, but hey, it, you know, it was another, I don't know, 10 minutes doing something arguably productive. And um, behind his shoulder is is my best attempt at the Immortal Hulk. I like what a creepy bastard he is, but I don't quite remember how his face works. Um, but definitely the highlight of the week. Um, it's glad to have. So I'm glad to have something to show. And something from last week that I did mean to show was this is the most accurate Batman face I've ever drawn um, without direct reference. But that's because I looked at something extremely similar. Um, when I was doing the airbrushing Batman stuff a couple of weeks ago, when my compute, my real computer was still okay, um, mechanical pencils do seem to work for me. So, counting the cost, the Smiley Show. Um, not only have I lost the Smiley Show I was working on, I've lost uh, half of the Smiley Show that I'd already finished and uploaded. The one with Akuma. Um, this, you know, my backup for the the Manga Studio files is older than I thought. I thought it was from this year but it was from Christmas last year but when I was looking for all my files I came across some F Mobius artwork that a friend gave me that I forgot about so I had a little look at that um, strange strange stuff very good very very weird um, some of it is silent some of it's in Spanish <laughs> all of it is alternative um, I don't really have anything to say about Mobius, but he's an artist's artist, and um, I don't have any reason to disagree with that as a statement. Um, I do need to spend more time looking at inspirational stuff like that, but, you know, I find myself enjoying the memes. Uh, I watched some random video, 3D edited, Shrek versus Big Chungus Battle for Free Rob Robux. It doesn't make sense, but there is there's a quality to this nonsense, uh, and I, I appreciate it for what it is. It doesn't need to make sense. It's preferable it doesn't. I did also watch some mangaka do making manga. Um, I think this is the guy that, that... Not the original One Punch Man guy, but the manga artist who took it upon himself to professionally make One Punch Man work. Uh, so he has his own style. 
when he draws. That was interesting to see. And then I watched a few Kim Jong-gi videos where he's he's effectively explaining how it is that he magically just draws stuff that's in perspective. Um, because he's in he's internalized the stuff that you want to see him externalize when he explains it, but he never does. Um, but yeah, I think you watch enough of these videos, you'll figure it out. Also watching a clip from, you know, Heath Ledger's Batman performance. There's a lot going on in this scene, and it's all good, and it's really... You know, I'm not going to break it down, because I can't be bothered, but um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Um, but I do also watch people make masks and wood carvings and stuff. So this guy made a Heath Ledger Joker mask, and he, this guy could work at Hollywood, this guy or lady, um, because it's it's a process, and they're very good at it, and their results are excellent. Um, I did also do my self-assessment tax return this week. It is not a small thing, um, and while I don't look at this week as successful, this this is a milestone. Um, if I'm going to be successful as an independent businessman in the future, it's best to sip this poison. <laughs> now um before it's a problem and then um sad clown of the week is gonna be joe biden i don't know if he has a problem or if it's if i'm just getting edited memes of him not making sense ever <laughs> i think it's probably a bit of both but um there's a lot of dodgy right-wing political content in my youtube feed right now that's basically like fuck joe biden and i'm like he makes a lot of gaffes that I don't think are photoshopped, <laughs> and I don't think they're edited. Uh, so I, I, I think he's under a lot of scrutiny. He's under a lot of pressure. Um, is is he a man capable of coherent utterances? I don't know. I hope he is, but I'm starting to think he isn't. But whatever. That brings us to the end of Petra Kucha two o seven, and I will see you next time. <laughs>